Attention, people of Earth, the hula painted frog is ext- uh, Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 my bad. We just couldn't find him. Hey peeps, Trace here. Thanks for checking out Dean News. A living fossil is an organism that was once considered extinct, thus only found in the fossil record, which has now been found alive. It's not a species brought back to life or a clone or a miracle or anything like that. It's usually due to the simple truth that Earth is a damn big place and often organisms declared extinct when there may only be a few hopping around, crawling or galloping or swimming on this rock here. Being extinct isn't as simple as we had some, now we don't. Animals can be extinct in the wild, which which means they live in captivity only. They are also functionally extinct, which means even in the wild, there isn't enough left to sustain an actual gene pool. And then there's extinct, which means that's all she wrote. Last week in the journal Nature Communications, it was announced that the hula painted frog was not extinct, as had been thought, but was instead found alive in Israel. The frog's living quarters had been decimated by habitat destruction and disease and pollutants, and as no one had actually seen one alive since the 1950s, it was declared extinct. And yet, here it is. Since the hula frog's rediscovery in 2011, there have only been actually like three adults found, but it's definitely not extinct, it's just severely endangered. Ooh. This isn't the only living fossil. The most famous is probably the coelacanth. This fish is ancient. I mean like 65 million years ancient. This is one of those organisms that when we look at it, it looks back at us with the same eyes its ancestors looked at dinosaurs with. Assuming, of course, that dinosaurs happened to fall into the ocean off of the coast of Madagascar, but anyway. The coelacanth was thought to be extinct, with scientists finding their giant fossils beginning in the early 19th century. Then in the late 1930s, one was actually found alive, hiding 2,300 feet below the surface of the ocean. Today, we know there may be as many as a thousand left on our planet, but because they are so elusive, we really can't be sure. But we can be sure that it's not extinct at least. Okay, so just, just to be fair, we're not like inept at looking for animals or anything, and we're really good at killing them off, but we are okay at fixing our mistakes. Sometimes with a massive public effort, we can help keep things from becoming dead fossils. For example, in April, we learned that we've actually helped the Humol deer come back from the brink of extinction in Chile. In the 1990s, the population was 99% gone, poof. But now, there may be as many as 2,500, with the numbers increasing every year. Heavy conservation helped restore their population. Woo! -hoo! Should we allow species to go extinct? Is that natural? Or should we try and save them through cloning or conservation or whatever? Tell us your thoughts in the comments, and be sure you click subscribe for your D News Fix twice a day, every day.